Hello and welcome to the Metal Trist YouTube channel. I am Tristan and here is where I talk about music, but let's not kid anyone, it's usually about metal. <laughs> so in this five minute video, I'll be talking about Rolo Tomasi and their brand new album, Where Myth Becomes Memory. I'll be summing things up in terms of what I thought was great, what I thought was not so great, what I found really interesting about the record, and then kind of summarizing my overall points then it's over to you, the viewer, to give the album a listen. So, in the past, Rolo Tomasi have always had clean vocals and clean guitar sections, and then also, you know, kind of harsher vocals and more distorted guitar sections. But for me, it's very much always been kind of like a black and white. Whereas I think on Where Myth Becomes Memory, they've kind of really entwined that into the overall songwriting. But what I found most surprising is that I think they've really learned to navigate the elements of that karma sound. The heavy sections are very interesting, particularly in the rhythms and how they kind of get there. Drip is a great example of that, especially because it starts with this sort of like ba 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 snare drum and it almost, you know, kind of like builds up that sense of energy. But then this kind of new rhythm starts to kind of move in and then the two kind of coalesce. Presidents, for example, also has, I think, quite a genty, energetic sort of feel to it as well, and is probably the heaviest track on the album, I would have to say. And I also have to say that the production on here is absolutely brilliant. It's nice and crisp, you can hear everything that's going on, but gives enough body to all the instruments around it. And now we move on to the not so good part of the album. So for me, I think maybe I wanted a little bit more experimentation. Obviously, I know that's a lot to ask. I'm just one person and this is just my opinion. This is a very solid album. It's very, very interesting and there's a lot going on here but I think maybe I just wanted to kind of like push the boat out, but that's probably me just being a little bit greedy. <laughs> and now we move on to what I find interesting about the record. So particularly, I think that Ava Corman, I think she's a lot more vulnerable, um, particularly when she has her sort of like uh, clean vocals come through. And I'm sure that that was quite nerve wracking, having that sort of guard out when you're not kind of screaming something, you know, everyone can understand exactly what you're saying. But I also noticed that there were some male vocals in here, and I'm pretty sure this is James, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really liked it on um, Closer, the harmonies that were on Drip, and also To Resist Forgetting. There's also these really nice roadmaps that are kind of in the album, and there's, there's three of them, which is Almost Always, Closer, and Stumbling. They act as really nice interludes from that kind of gnashing, you know, aggressive nature of the band. I really think that their secret weapon is piano. But piano can also act as a kind of narrative, I guess. So Mutual Ruin is a great example of that. It starts off with a single piano note, and then we kind of morph off and kind of go off somewhere else. But then in the bridge, it kind of comes back to the piano and then ends on this really soft kind of piano, but with that same note that started the song initially. So it's a nice little bookend. But then you've also got keys, and I think keys can do so much as well. You've got this kind of more ominous, malevolent atmosphere that we've got on Cloaked. But then also you've got that sort of like glistening sound that's on almost always. And in particular, there were so many moments on this record which reminded me of like Max Richter, you know, the kind of like Black Mirror, San Junipero, um, Nose Dive, but also like Normal People, that sort of soundtrack. Really beautiful, soft soundtracks that are incredibly cinematic. Rolo have improved on that blueprint of what Time Will Die and Love Will Bury It had. They've definitely trimmed the fat. 
They've also made sure that the dynamics, I think, are more emphasised. And when they kind of want to go for it, they really do go for it. And I think the standout element is these more vulnerable moments, particularly with Ava and that piano, as I've been kind of, you know, banging on about. Um, that's really kind of the, the biggest surprise for me in, in just how beautiful this record is. This is definitely not one to miss, and I hope that you've learned a little bit more about Rollo Tomasi and their album, Where Myth Becomes Memory. So that's it from me. What did you think of the album? Did you enjoy the review? Let me know in the comments section below and subscribe if you did. Other than that, I will see you next week for another album review.